Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Noli, and today we're gonna to be playing some more Knights Chronicle, and we have our new characters that are finally here. I believe it's like two of them that are ready. Um, Lionel and who was that one? David. Hopefully they're in here and not in the freaking summonings. Is that him? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, thank God. All right, let's see Lionel. Eh, Lionel actually looks pretty dope on his six. I like it. All right. So, yeah, we're just going to start off with Lionel. All right. <laughs> I like the stance. Lionel actually looks pretty cool, though. All right, let's see. Increase fire allies HP by 30%. Okay, that's actually not half bad. His first skill hits one target, has a 40% chance of taunting. Okay, that's automatically good to have like pretty decently high taunt, especially on single target. Single target has to have that. Has 40% chance to increase elemental disadvantage by 20%. Okay, so... Hmm. Uh, that's actually pretty good, but hopefully it goes... Okay, thank God it goes to two turns. Because if it goes to two turns, that's going to be, like, so freaking good. Um, So I would personally max out the one from, like, first impressions. Because 70% taunt? God damn, dude. Yeet. I think this guy has the highest single, ta single taunt in the game. Pretty sure he does. I think it's by 5%, but that's actually not half bad. And plus, this is dangerous. The elemental increase damage, it, it's dangerous as hell at that, at that point when it's 50%. Alright, second skill. Uh, oh yeah, before I keep going, this is from a PvE perspective because I am mostly PvE instead of PvP. So just letting you guys know that right now before anybody thinks, oh, he's a hardcore pvp -er, I am not. <laughs> I mostly enjoy PvE in this game. PvP is really annoying in this game. <laughs> but gains a shield to all allies, okay, by 30% of max HP. So it didn't say caster's max, max HP, so is it just everybody's individual HP? I'm curious. Maybe it's probably his max HP, though. And also cast Goddess Grace. Felt like I was just... <laughs> Felt like I was just at a Thanksgiving just saying that. Goddess Grace on the caster and the ally with the lowest HP. Okay, that's not half bad because he's sustaining himself. Wait, is this a heal? Well, if this is a hill, he's sustaining himself and another ally. Let's just say that. Alright, 40% max. Oh, and it actually goes to three turns for the shield. Alright, alright. Pretty much like a support healing hybrid. And the third skill grants strike preparation, which means they'll guarantee a crit on the next turn. Well, on the next attack. So this only lasts for one turn. Gains focused power. I don't know what the hell that is. And to increase damage dealt. Oh. Oh. This guy could actually be really dangerous. He's mostly a booster for like killing winds for sure. Because this could be like really freaking dangerous in Kali. Oh, I might need this character. Holy shit, I actually might need this character. But he gains increased damage on a single target attack. So that means Morgan's 3 could be like extremely strong along with this crit. Like that's going to be insane. Let's see how much it goes. Oh my god. Um, So between skills, it'll probably be between this or this. Personally, I would focus on his one just because you want that to be two turns. Because if you guys don't know, I've, well, I've learned this 
dealing with freaking Kristen and other annoying bosses. Kristen's um, two, his uh, weakness does not last long and it disappears a lot. <laughs> so you can't really do much with that. This will be the same way with the whole elemental disadvantage. You would want it to be two turns because it's going to be completely useless if you can't get it. So I would recommend his one. But you can also prepare his two just for the single ta target increase. And plus you'll be having like way more damage going in. So it's either between these two other than the two. The two can be weighted off. These are probably the most crucial ones on him. But let's go ahead and go into the passives. Restores HP to all allies with Goddess Grace at the start of the turn. Okay. So he's pretty much doing like Ramu's job. Decreases all attacks taken from Quadruplet attacks by 50% at the start of the wave. Okay, so pretty much like straight up AoEs. Alright. That could actually be pretty decent. So he's actually filling his tank role too. Alright, revives all allies. Wait, excuse me? Revives all allies with 20% HP. Resets the, resets the caster's skill too by consuming Goddess Grace at the end of the current turn. When attacked by a quadruped attack. Oh! Okay. Well, that won't work really work in Kali, considering that I'm pretty sure she just hits two people. At least I think she hits two people. Or is it three? I don't know. I, I think I've forgotten. But, increases counter attack chance by 50% if the caster has Goddess Grace. Okay, that's not half bad. Yeah, Lionel? Definitely love him. He is going to be really good for PvE. Oh, wait, hold on. If this is debuff, you can you can also... Um, well, yeah, this is a debuff. Um, you can combo him with Elizabeth, actually. Because Elizabeth's one actually increases like debuff turns. So that can actually be a thing. So, well, actually, if she goes second, then that could actually be really good to team him, team her up with Lionel. That actually would be half bad, to be honest. I'm sorry, I like to think about PvE things, okay? <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at Lionel's stuff. Oh, so he just lays it down. Um, here's a shield, and this is ult. Okay, that actually looks pretty dope. I like that. Alright then, Lionel actually looks pretty dope. Hopefully I get him. My god, alright. So this is David. What do you have, David? Eh. I don't know how to feel about your skin, to be honest. You look alright. Alright. Increase light allies crit chance by 30%. That could be good teamed up with Kristen. Uh, for a skill, he attacks one enemy and has a chance to brand. So if you guys don't know what brand is, brand just in increases incoming damage. Alright, inflicts penetration on one target, has a chance to cast obstacle optical illusion to guarantee the Next attack won't miss. Okay, that's actually not half bad. Inflicts penetration to enemy adjacent targets. So pretty much any enemy that is beside the target you hit. So I'm guessing it won't miss also the adjacent targets. Alright, next. Third skill. Inflicts damage to one target. That's an 80% chance to cast Optical Illusion for one turn. Inflicts bonus 50% damage to hybrid types. Alright, you could be out here murdering a few people. A 
He, oh my god, that 80% though. Jesus Christ. That could actually hurt. Alright, passives. Has a chance to cast Osago Illusion on enemy with with the first turn. For one turn, add the start of the wave. That was worded like really differently from what I'm used to, but alright. 100% chance to cast Veil of Phantasm on the caster every time Obstacle Lucian is cast. Okay, that's not that bad. He's just pretty much dodging constantly. Alright, that's actually pretty good. Alright, next. Level 68 passive. 50% to remove buffs when attacking. 10% chance to remove all buffs if the target is hybrid. Okay, that's just cruel. Attacks all allies. Well, increase attack of all allies by 40% when the caster tries to remove. Oh, so he basically has a um, bruise stuff to where if she tries to remove, she heals. Instead, this guy is whenever he tries to remove a buff, he increases damage. All right, that's not that bad. That's actually not half bad at all. And plus it's to all allies, so that's going to be dangerous as hell. But you would mostly want to be attacking hybrids at that point. Alright, David isn't half bad for PvP. To be honest, I can see him a little bit in PvE as well. A little bit. Not like a whole bunch, but a little bit. Mostly just because of this. This is the only reason why I can see him in PvE a little bit. Alright, it's time to look at David's stuff. I don't like the animations of his uh, staff. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Alright, what is his ult? Oh, well, it's kind of like the magic trick, but he actually stabs you and kills you. <laughs> so pretty uh, sadistic when you actually think about it. All right. <laughs> All right, kind of like Zavid's stuff, but yeah, I'm more after Lionel, if anything. All right. I like it. But Lionel is my top priority. Everybody just chatting up in guild or either summoning. Let's go see. This is, yep, it was summoning. Yep, somebody was just farming for Lionel. Uh, you're not the only one, buddy. I'm going in, too. Let's get these summons in. Oh, yeah. At the end of this video, I'm going to show off um, me actually finally killing Kali. Took me long enough, right? Okay, nothing good. Let's go ahead and skip. Come on, Lionel, please. Don't be that guy. And nothing else good again. Wow, I'm just having terrible luck. They're just like, oh, you got crystals now? Trying to just fuck your whole day up. Yeah, dude, what the hell is up with the summoning rate? Jesus Christ. Well, I guess I don't have any luck in this game. Psh. Yeah, what is luck, apparently? Are you kidding me? You know what? This is making me second guess playing this game. Okay, thank you. Jesus Christ. And it's not going to be Lionel. Yep. Jack. Just had to be you, huh? I was about to say, no way, hell, I'm getting another one. Okay, I'm probably full right now, right? Okay, now. Ah, I tried. I got a few more summons to go through. Okay, there goes another one. Maybe I'll get him before this weekend. It's probably not. Well then. That's my luck, guys. Told you, my luck is shit when it comes to this freaking game. Well, that was fun while it lasted. 
So I need four more summons, huh? Well, at least I think it's four more summons. Okay, no, that's not what I was trying to look at. Thanks, game. Alright, here we go. Oh no, it is four more summons. Hmm. Huh. I'm not sure if I'll get the crystals for it, to be honest. I'll try. I'll attempt it. But to be honest, my luck has always been like that. Nothing really new. Uh, runes, 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 runes. I'm gonna need that. Alright, we got some potions though. So I don't have to buy any other ones. And look at my luck compared to that. Pfft. Terrible. But we have this new Halloween event. Um, where does this drop from? Drop from Advents? Is it like normal Advents or is it just like multiplayer Advents? Let's go see. Okay, yeah. Single player. Okay, pumpkins drop with her. Single player increase on drop rate. Okay, so all the single players are increased and half off. So you can just go ahead and just start farming the hell out of your Britons. Alright, so is it on um, multiplay? It's only on single play. Alright, let's see if I can... Well, I obviously I can beat Britain now. Oh yeah, Chris... No, oh, well, now that I think about it... We never really had like a much of a ban list, did we? <laughs> now that I actually think about it, we didn't have much of a ban list. Just because everybody can go in with what they wanted inside of multiplayer. Um, now we do. These two are out of it. I'll, who the hell would use this character? But Chris is out. Feels bad, man. Leafa. Ah. Uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, Nyx is good on two banners now. Well, not banners. Two Abbots now. Which is very random. Right, I'm just going to bring Manteo. I'm going to bring in my girl Morgan. And we're gonna do this. I'm not too bummed out at all. Too bummed about it on um, Lionel. He'll come back sooner or later, and I'll get him. And I'll try to farm up as much crystals as I can. So I'm just gonna take a break on, you know, leveling at the moment. Also because I'm not really leveling much, or buying myself into dungeons. I still hate trying to click on that. Are we still going through the first time animations? I'm gonna get rid of the stuns because the stuns are like something that will really kill you in this. There we go. So you want to try and kill the middle guy always. I forgot about that. I haven't been in this dungeon for like so long now. There we go. That should be dead. So we meet again, my lizard friend. <laughs> Alright, you're out of here apparently. 
Teo wasn't taking any of your shit today. I mean, why not? I was like, thought it was going to be doing a little bit more than that. I could also bring Ashley in this. Yep. Pretty much Teo can just mow through this. Thankfully. Okay, and you get 70 from this. Jesus Christ. Um, what? <laughs> and plus, I'm pretty sure you can auto farm the lesser dungeons, though. Alright, let's see how the lowest does. Because I want to see the amount that pretty much everyone gets. Well, not everyone. At least the highest and lowest we can get. Hello? Game? Are you alright? Sir? Why? Okay. Well then. We have this annoying thing going on now. Don't tell me I gotta restart the game because of you idiots. Come on. Alright guys, I will be right back apparently. <laughs> wow. That's always fun. Alright, so if I'm log back in, I found me get this. Get a free S. Where the hell do I get that? Are we talking about the skin? Like hell they would do that. Hold on. But yeah, let's go take a look at the new costumes though. Wow, they actually did do it. Pfft, that's a fucking shock. <laughs> wow, alright. Basically a free one. I feel bad for anybody who's just sitting there at zero and can't find a way to get crystals right now. But anywho, um, who are the new ones? Leafa is a new $20 one, which I'm pretty sure Wells will get. Nobody else will. Well, no other casual player would get. Eh. Oh god, first time lag is back. Because I had to restart. Eh, I guess it looks cool. Meh. Not twenty dollars cool though. Yeah, yeah, she got another skin. <laughs> and it it's very creepy. Nightmare fuel. Alright, uh what was the last one? <laughs> uh the last one was Wow, I actually forgot. Uh it was definitely not one of you two oh well yeah, it was uh Edna. At least I think so. If I was wrong, then let me know. Alright, I guess I'll just start doing all my weeklies, my dailies, and my monthlies now. Just because I have nowhere else to go in this. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Anywho. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. My suffering. And my life. Yep. I'm not carrying this bag, but I wish this would have came back when... Around the time I didn't have her to level 6, you know? That would have been fantastic. Oh, look. Aemon too. Yeah. Oh, I do have an Ashley I can get there. Huh. Anywho. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we, we need to go back to the dungeon and see how much the last one gets. Pretty sure it'll be easy and fast. Well, obviously it's going to be easy, but 
fast. Let's go see. Oh, Flare. Yeah, this is definitely going to be fast. And we just go in with this team. Trying to go Bully Flare a little bit. Been a while since we've done this dungeon. Seems like we might have to do it a lot now. Look at Teo, always had to clean up your mess, Morgan. You know you could have one-shotted him. Increase his stuff by like so much. She is chill. Can have you increasing his timer like every freaking second. All right, this one only gives ten. Okay, so now I'm kind of curious of what the other one does give now. If that gives ten, this probably gives like probably fifteen or twenty. I'm going to leave that for you guys to figure out. <laughs> but, yeah. Since this is pretty much a longer video. Well, this is pretty much like a long enough video. And plus, I'm going to put my Kali run on the end of it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Um, have fun farming this event. Because you actually get some really good stuff off of it. If you get first place and get this, you you are a god. I, I applaud you. The plus, is, oh, they put a limit on it. Feels bad, dude. Feels bad. So yeah, I recommend getting to that limit before each day resets. Then just start stacking up for the next day for the next limit. Just start stacking up for the next day. Then you'll pretty much have a train going that you have to keep up through the. Uh, let's see, into next month basically. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, enjoy the Kali run, my first ever Kali run. Peace out. But it's too late now I remember you and me And how careless we yeah. be All day and all night We'd stay up, it felt so right We were so young, we were so dumb We would get drunk and then hook up We were okay, we were alright Staying awake till the sunrise We were in love, couldn't stop us Like a good drug, yeah. never run We enough. hook up in my car, driving so far Play your guitar, you show me your war Let down our guards, think with our hearts Stare at the stars, we were never apart Drinking too young, way too much fun Out in the sun, no big when it's gone Took you to prom, dance to our song Dance all night long till the lights come on Now I remember everything And how careless we could be And how careless we could be And how careless we could be
nights, long fights, it felt right. We were all alive. We would go out. We were so loud. We were so proud. We had no doubts. Weekends and weekdays, we'd spend our own way. We were careless. We were fearless. We were reckless. Time was precious. We loved to waste time, whiskey and wine, drinking all night.